Syntax is the name that I chose to represent the core skills of people who are effective at influencing. Uh, it means structure, and some people know it from computer programming, a computer language, or from a, a human language. And we all have our own personal syntax. And syntax, the syntax model, the syntax of influence, represents the distilled, necessary, and sufficient skills that people need that outstanding influencers use. Innovators have great ideas that don't have value unless other people get on board, unless they can communicate them, unless they can influence other people with their ideas. So it's really important for innovators to put their attention on how they reach other people with their ideas, not just what the ideas are. And the reason that they tend not to is people get so absorbed in what they're developing and what they're working on and the ideas that they're trying to get out there that they don't learn the skill of a professional communicator, somebody who knows how to influence. So it's important that they systematically approach it and design it just like any other part of the innovation, the idea that they want to promote, is think about how are you going to communicate this idea. There are some core elements that that are the major parts of what is, is necessary and sufficient to be good at influencing. It's what you need to know, and if you know, if you use all of these five aspects, you will get the results that you want with your ideas. And that's why it's important for innovators to, to learn this. Now, I can go into what those five areas are so that people who are watching this webisode can think about how are they skillful at doing these five things. Here are the five. You need to plan in the sense of knowing your goal. What is it you want to achieve? What will that get you? And how will you know? We'll come back to that in a minute because it's really important. The second skill, one that is often left out of innovators thinking, is linking. You need to be able to find a way to meet people where they are, to read people, to understand what's important to the other person, and then to be flexible enough so that you can make that connection with people. Now, if everybody's in your same technology, your same field, that may not be very difficult. If what you need to do is reach people who are money people or marketing people or, or your customers, they don't think the same way that you do. So you need to have the skill of linking and connecting up with people. Sometimes innovators are highly technical and they don't put their attention there. So it's important to do. Think about how you meet the people that you want to influence how you connect with them. A third area that everybody needs to be really good at when they're promoting ideas and innovations is how we exchange in information. And we call this the informed section of syntax, is both how you gather information and how you present information so people get what's relevant and important so they understand it. So the skills of gathering and presenting information, such as advocacy and inquiry, are two of the skills of being able to get and give information so that your ideas can reach the audience that you want to reach. Another area that's very important that many innovators don't think about because they just want to promote, they want to put their idea out there, they want to make a difference, and they don't think about who do I need to ask for what and how do I need to respond to other people's requests. There's a whole negotiation process involved in getting anything out of your head and into the world. And making requests and agreements is what we call the balance section of syntax. That's a skill that when people are good at that, they can kind of navigate through any of the complexities of, of businesses, of funding, of those kinds of things that innovators need to think about. So how do you make your requests and agreements? The last, the fifth area of syntax, which somewhat sweeps all of the others back in, is learning. Is Are you paying attention to the results you're getting? Have you seen people who approach lots of different investors, lots of different situations, and somehow their approach is always the same, their message is always the same? They're not learning from their results. They're not adapting. They're not uh, being in real time, changing to what they need to change in the situation. So those five things, planning, knowing your goal, linking, building relationships, getting the information relevant and clear so people understand it, 
making clear requests and agreements so that you're negotiating and learning from what happens. Those are the skills of innovators who actually get to make a difference in the world because their ideas reach people. And the one that I said I'd come back to that is worth thinking about and taking a moment right now in this little webisode is to think about an idea that you want to promote and ask yourself these three questions. What is it you want? What will that do for you, for the people that it's supposed to help? What will it do for investors? What will it do for stakeholders? So the second question is, what will that get you or them? And the third question, a tough one, and one that it's really worth walking yourself through and into, is how will I know when this has really reached the result that I want? When this innovation has become real in the real world, and it is serving humanity, it is making a difference, it is doing what it is intended to do, how will I know? What will I and others see, hear, feel, or be doing that will convince us that we have reached that goal? If we think that through, if you start from what do I want, what will that get me and others, and how will we know, then everything that you do to make your innovation a reality is going to be much more on course, you're going to be clearer communicating about it, and you'll be more successful. And so I hope you take these ideas and put them to use. If you want to know more about Syntax. Come to our website, syntaxcommunication.com.